Alright guys, what is up? So I'm going to be talking about how to frontside crook and let's just get in it. So, for frontside crooked grind, this trick might be a little sketchy trying to learn it on a rail. I highly recommend if you want to try to get used to it or comfortable to it that you learn it on a box because on a box, you know, you're not going to you don't have to balance so much on a rail where it's literally a little more difficult if you learn it on here. That is unless you've been skating flat bars or handrails for a long time already, then go for it. But for I'm going to talk about the box first. For a box if you know how to nose grind, it's basically like a nose grind. You just come at it crooked. Like literally, you come at it at an angle and just get in like if you're getting into a nose grind. And you're gonna go, you're gonna go. Just think of, think of nose grinding at an angle and just get in at an angle whenever you go for the front crook. And it's just, because it's a box, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stop. As long as you wax the surface of it, you'll be able to just go. That's the easiest way for me, That the way I thought about it, whenever I learned a front crook on a box, I literally told myself, think of nose grind, but go at it at an angle, and when I get in, and just figure it out. You also wanna make sure that you apply all your pressure to this side of your truck. Right here, for, if you're goofy, you apply it right here, because then you'll just push it down and you'll just grind. It's called a pinch. You're just gonna go. And another thing is, you definitely, definitely wanna put all your pressure, lean forward. Don't lean back, because if you lean back, you're just gonna slip out. For a flat bar or a circle rail, it's different. You literally, literally, you just get on, you go at it, any type of way, I recommend that you just go at it straight because it, it'll, it'll make more sense. Because for the box, it's just so you can learn how to get into the front crook and actually get on the grind, stay on and grind. Getting out might be a little challenging for some people because it might flip out. You're gonna go and it might do that. But this is what you wanna do. When you're about to get out, just kinda lift your weight right here and just, it's gonna come off gently. You're gonna pop for a rep, for the rail. You're gonna pop. Get on right here. Seriously, put all your pressure in this side of the area for Goofy's regulars. This side, you'll just get on like that. Put all your pressure and just let it come off. This trick is very difficult at first for a lot of people because it's a front side crook. Back side crook, it's so easy to just get in back side and like if you don't feel comfortable, just jump over. Front crook, I, I know what it feels like. It feels like you get on, you could easily fall that way. Or you, I, I don't know, it's just, it feels more unpredictable, but trust me, once you learn it, it feels really good to do. It's one of those tricks that just, it looks harder than what it, actually is to do that, that if that makes sense Jamie Foy has some really good front side crooks but I recommend if you don't know where to start start on a box any type of box maybe even just learn how to stall just go at it straight and just learn how to get in like that figure out how it is to stall and get into that pressure that that pinch right there where it's like literally tweaked that's gonna help out a lot a lot of stalls little stalls right there is gonna help you a lot and that's all I have to say about this trick tip. I hope this helped. If it didn't, well, you know, leave a comment. What I could have said better. What I, I missed out on the front side crook. Because for me, I like front crooks. They look amazing. They feel good on a rail, personally. On a box, not so much ever since I started doing it on a rail. But that's just my opinion. If you guys have a trick tip that you guys want me to do, leave it in the comment section and I'll get to it. Thank you guys for watching. Like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.